Hello, this is the third of four in a series of short videos to introduce the GPS 72 for Mark layers. It assumes you've already watched the previous videos and aims to show you how to reset the unit uh, and then set the positions for marks 1, 2 and 3 in a trapezoidal course. Uh, we're using the man overboard function uh, and the standard reference point system tables. The method I will show you is one of many in use, but is as simple as it can be, requiring you to remember as little as possible, uh, and more importantly, it doesn't require the coordinates of each mark position to be entered manually. The basic principle is to drive to the reference point, shown here on the chart, and then add five waypoints. One will be man overboard and the other four using the mark button to give me one, two, three and four. Okay, we're uh, displaying the third screen, the, the compass or pointer screen. Uh, and what we're going to do, first of all, is to clear any existing waypoints, including the man overboard. So we do this by pressing the menu button twice to get to the main menu, uh, move down to points, press enter, uh, waypoints is displayed, so press enter again, uh, and you can see that we've got various waypoints here that we want to get rid of. So menu, uh, and down at the bottom there, just use the rocker to go down to delete all, press enter. Of course the default is no uh, as a, a safety measure, so scroll to the right once and press enter for yes. And now you can see that we have no uh, waypoints left. Having done that, uh, the next step uh, is to obviously drive to the reference point uh, at the gate mark number four. Uh, and I'm going to just quit, quit, quit back to the pointer screen. Uh, and assuming we've now stopped at the reference point, I'm going to press and hold man overboard. By default, that's yes. So press enter to accept it. Now I've now got a man overboard waypoint marked. I'm going to press and hold enter. And you'll see that waypoint number one is displayed and OK in the bottom right hand corner is uh, the function that I can accept with pressing enter. Uh, and I repeat that, press and hold enter. You can see we've now got waypoint two, enter again, press and hold enter, waypoint three and so on, pressing enter again for the final time and uh, OK that. So I've now got four waypoints numbered 1, 2, 3 and 4 plus a man overboard. The next step is to use the project function to move each of the waypoints uh, according to the reference tables that you can see displayed. Uh, I'm going to assume that the race officer has told us that the course axis is 175, which you can see just around the middle here and the distance is going to be 0.7 nautical miles. Okay, so with that uh, information, I'm going to press menu, menu. Uh, you can see points is already highlighted, so enter into that, and waypoints, enter into that, and waypoint number one is the one that we want to project at 175 and 0.7 nautical miles. So uh, I press enter, and you can see that is now displayed. But of course, the location of that is currently at the gate mark, and I want to project that. So I press menu uh, and cursor down to project, press enter, and you can see uh, the screen here that's going to allow me to move from, well, it says here current location. So I'm going to uh, move my cursor onto that, press enter, uh, 
and I'm going to use the points or waypoints menu uh, like that, press enter again and I'm going to use the man overboard position every time enter that so that's the uh, position that I'm going to use uh, to project from uh, we need a distance and we need a bearing so move the cursor down press enter you can see the display increases slightly in size uh, and I'm just going to cursor across to there uh, and now if I use the up and down keys you can see that uh, as I press that that's increasing slowly and there we are point seven so that's the distance press enter uh, move my cursor down and we said the bearing was going to be 175 if I cursor to the left sorry if I enter first and then cursor to the left it will zero the field for me and then I can uh, use cursor up cursor right cursor down three times there to 170 cursor right and 175 like that press enter so I've got those three bits of information and I save that by pressing enter okay at this point you probably think wow that's really complicated um, but that's all there is to it I've done that for uh, the first mark number one if we now look at the table again uh, we can look at uh, the uh, mark number two uh, and how that's going to look f uh, at an angle of 41 degrees uh, from the reference point and of course the tables uh, tell me here uh, that I need an angle of uh, 134 and if I look along here the distance from 4 to 2 uh, is going to be 0.62 nautical miles okay I'm going to repeat the process now for mark number two uh, so from the compass screen menu menu uh, into the points menu and waypoints uh, and this time of course I'm selecting uh, mark number two uh, and again uh, pressing the menu button uh, you'll notice that this time project location is uh, already highlighted so go into that uh, and move to current location uh, we're going to change that of course to man overboard so using the points menu uh, waypoints and uh, select man overboard uh, and onto the distance so uh, we know that the distance is this time going to be 0.62 so I'm on the field I press enter and I cursor across to zero point uh, and I'm going to now go down to six cursor to the right up six two enter that into bearing just go enter and just go left to zero it and the bearing is going to be one three four so cursor up cursor right up 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 right up 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 enter cursor down onto the save button and enter and we now see that we've got waypoint number two uh, and I can go OK which takes us back to the compass screen uh, simply same thing again for um, mark number three uh, I think you should be able to do that yourselves one question I have been asked is how do I know that I've actually put all my coordinates in correctly uh, as you can see we're on the compass page uh, and it's displaying 001 so that's trying to navigate to uh, mark number one if we go back by pressing the quit button here 
to the map page, you can see uh, that here we are, that's our current location. Uh, and this line here is because we've set the go to to number one. Uh, and you can see that that is heading out on the course of 175 uh, and then across here to mark number two and of course parallel to uh, from the man overboard the, the, the gate fourth gate mark and one we've got the track from two to three so I think that demonstrates fairly clearly that we have entered the uh, marks into the system correctly. Okay, on that note I'm going to finish. The final video in the series uh, is going to cover how we use the go to function uh, in order to land the rib uh, in the right place ready to lay the course marks.